Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So currently here again at the Glorietta JC M6 Pro uh, Grand Launch. So there's memory seat phone in this. So you're wondering, what am I driving? Unexpectedly, we are in the M8 Master GX. This is the top of the line version of the M8 here in the Philippines. So I did my complete walk around tour. So check that out on my channel. So actually, I wasn't expecting to drive this, but why not as a first feature test drive? So floor it a bit. I think this is just normal mode and okay I know eco mode it says here and yeah it's pretty smooth on its delivery so this engine is the 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine which you find too in the GS8 4x2 and 4 wheel drive models what I said in my main walk around review which has a lot of use by the way uh, yeah the cabin in here the seats in the back is one of the most luxurious GACs you can buy out here today so I don't know why this modes exist there's eco comfort and sport as I said in the walk around review but let's try sport mode just for fun and I'm a big fan of this crystal shift it even rotates and I didn't even know that was a thing uh, with this M8 but driving it personally yes I know who, whoever people will buy this car will rather sit in the back I think we will demo that soon if and only GVC Philippines will allow land belts for this but knowing there's a test drive of this we will never know hopefully in the future once again and yeah everything is tech fest over here but I wasn't so overwhelmed with the tech of this uh, M8 Master because I got used to the GAC ecosystem quite quickly and yeah there's still a lot of physical buttons here and there but what I said to back in the day oh a little bit jerky with the auto hold right there oh uh, since we're in sport mode too I remember this one's mated to a uh, 8 speed automatic transmission so this is not the dual clutch like what you find in the rest of the uh, JC model so let's floor it Right, so it's a yes, you have a lot of power, but again, this is a very big, heavy, luxurious van. It's kind of gradual on its power. I like it. Let's try it. Ooh. Ooh, wow. And you have a very soft and floaty suspension. I don't even feel the bumps. Yeah, right here. This is quite uh, quite amazing because comparing with the GM6, uh, M6 Pro that I just uh, driven. Yeah, again, this is much flo more floatier than usual and yeah, surprisingly great to dive even though you want to be in the back. So hopefully we'll test that out too soon. And the handling way, uh, despite being a very long boxy vehicle, yeah, it's pretty alright too. I mean, there's no dead spots, pretty responsive. So here you go, comfort. A little bit more delayed on the power, but I don't mind it. And like uh, most of the GACs right now, there's no manual transmission. I know there's no manual mode whatsoever. However, I don't mind it since you're not gonna drive it like me, I guess, <laughs> if you're going to buy this M8. However, in case uh, you want the Facundo driver uh, to floor this all the time, yes, this M8 Master will just do the job for you. And I cannot. I get away with the looks of this M8. It's pretty amazing and one of the most striking. And let's not forget the value of this. As I said too back in the day, this is one of the most value-packed luxury, big luxury uh, MPVs you can buy out there today. And look at that, just darting here around traffic. It's pretty, okay, I would say it's pretty peppy for what this is. I've not driven any of the competitors whatsoever. I did walk around tours of all of them, I think, except one only. But this JAC will set the bench mark and hopefully soon we'll have a proper land out of this and i think this would be still be the winner against with the rest of the mpvs because it's value packed you got literally everything here already in the interior the space the quality what more could you ask for in a luxury mpv so we're back here now in glorieta so i'd like to thank everyone here again at jc motor philippines at this m6 pro launch so i'd like to thank as well to sir Anthony sir. So Anthony who went, uh, assisted me here in this test drive. Okay, I think if I ever land out uh, one of these in the future, my mom will never leave this car ever again in the back seat. So, hope you guys like and subscribe and hopefully uh, stay tuned for this land out video review. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're in done with the video. Adrian was able to catch up for the M8 Master test drive. So, I'm sitting here in the back and unlike in the walk around review because that was already uh, all wrapped in plastic. Yeah, sitting here in the back is amazing. So, these are all of your controls for the seats. So, we have vent seat ventilations right there. 
can even recline. Oh my gosh, the ventilation even stretches. Here in the back, oh my god, I'm so freezing cold already. And here for your thigh support, look at my legs. Yo, look at that. That's insane. Sorry for the shot. There, look at that. Wow, sitting here in the back, yes, as I said, so if ever I really get a land out of this, I for sure know my mother will never leave this car ever again. Yeah, it's so comfortable here in the back. So let's see how this performs once we get, uh, once Adrian gets to dive one of these. But here at the moment, I mean, it's got everything I need. So comfortable, even get butterfly headdress. <sighs> wow, it's, this is a, one of the more comfortable experiences I had in here in the second round. That are only uh, cars with uh, captain seats, mind you, with that. Here are your controls once again. I was actually looking for the climate controls. I forgot they were above here. And then you can even open the sunroof. Yes! With the diamond patterns as I mentioned. Look at this! Oh, he made it! Hey. He made it! <laughs> Another party piece which I did not demo in my walk around review. Again, because it was all in plastic. This is your seat back table. Look at that in the proper position oh okay having memory seat for the seat look at that uh, it's not even hitting my feet just oh just enough all right put you back already so let's see how this performs while i'm here in the back seat oh ambient lighting too here airplane style again run the led lights the ginormous 15.6 infotainment screen look at that the 360 and a reverse camera. So that's literally the summary of riding here in the back of the M8 Master. It's a damn mansion. And it has a very loud motorcycle that passed by the NVH. It's really good. The sound does not even translate that much here into the cabin. And the right here is so dang soft. Wow. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit swaying here and there, but still gives you a comfortable experience. And the seats make you so cushioned that you just want to sleep.